today we are going to discuss density. Density explains when we compare two different things whether one is going to sink in the other or float. So what you need for this experiment is a bucket of water. So at the moment it's empty. You can see there's nothing in it. And I'm going to fill it up with water. So you can see that it now has water, if I just pour some, yep, it's full of water. And the question is, if I now put an apple into the water, will it float or will it sink? If the apple sinks, then it is denser than water. If it floats, then it is less dense than water. This is an apple. And here's the bucket, and if you put it in, find out whether it sinks or it floats. You can also do the experiment using a spoon. So, if you put the spoon into the water, does it sink or does it float? If the spoon sinks, then it's denser than water, and if it floats, then it is less dense than water. Then, in the third experiment, take a leaf, put it into water, and see if it floats or it sinks. If the leaf floats in the water, it is less dense than water. If it sinks in the water, then it is more dense than water. Now this is a very special metal, it's called niobium, and it comes from Brazil. When I went to Brazil, they gave me this lump of nice shiny niobium metal. It is extremely heavy, and it's actually made in the stars. When the star explodes, it creates this metal niobium. If I put this into water, it will definitely sink, because this is much denser than water. Now, a final experiment. Take the apple, put it in the bucket of water, and see if you can pick it up with your face only. Not with your hands, but with your face only. <laughs> 